So welcome to my channel electronics on wheel thank you for your support i got request for making the playlist for all the videos many times i got this request so i have created the playlist based on the naming of the videos so as we you know that we have covered many topics uh, whether it is wiring harness process or starting system charging system connector selection fuse selection battery in the vehicles basic then katia v5 i know there are some playlist where you have only one video or two video and very basic information but i will try to create all those videos as i will get the time and as i get the response for those videos so if i don't get the response for those videos so i don't make the further videos on that particular topic i just stop there itself so it depends on all your response how i am getting the response on those videos or uh, one take one example of few selection process there are three videos where i have told you each and everything from the basics but the response on the videos are very uh, low moving to the second that i have made on ground selection then chs capital logic full course there, there is only one video and which is not much related on the uh, basic of that particular uh, semantic creation in logic but i will try to create more videos on the logic i can understand then charging system basic selection parameters in wiring harness where you have bundle diameter and other thing wire selection then new features in the vehicle then some basic systems like abs and other things then relay selection type of select, uh, relay and practical example of relay these are the playlist which i have covered and i will try to make the videos as i get the response on those videos so the in the response there are three things you subscribe the channel like and comment if you don't like something you just comment on that particular video that okay this is the thing which i do not like and you can just put your question on that as well so thank you for your support just moving to that particular uh, one topic so i have already created this uh, there are around three videos on which i have created on selection of connectors so i just summarize those three videos in this two slides so how the connectors are selected in vehicles so there are few factors as i already told you that um, there are few factors on which we select the connectors and what are those factors if i summarize so there are first one is the load characteristic so suppose the connector which you are using that particular load what type of load it is whether it is inductive capacitive or resistive load so those things you have to consider and then you have to select the particular connector then what is the wire size so wire size suppose what is the range of that particular wire size suppose it is varying from 0.13 to 0.5 or 0.5 to 2.5 so according to that to wire size range you have to select that particular connector and which series it is taking like 250 series is there 060 series is there 025 series is there so what type of series it is coming and it comes from this particular wire csa range on which range you are selecting that particular um, you know connectors so number of pole requirement so as usual like whether it is 10 pole connector 12 pole connector or 20 pole connector or 30 pole connectors so how many poles you require for that particular connectors and it depends all what type of application you are using you are using only that particular function suppose like one example horn so suppose in horn only i have the two connections one is for the po positive power supply and one is the negative ground so only i need here the two pole connector but somewhere suppose i am using the inline connectors where i need the function from the body harness to the dash harness so there are number of inline wires will be you know passing through throw the firewall from one end to other end you have to check all those wires whether how many wires are passing and how many wires are required from one end to other end then you have to see the inline connector that particular inline connector and then you have to give the number of poles then environmental characteristic as i told you that what are the environmental character whether it is water uh, uh, waterproof zone or non waterproof zone so you have to see those things then vibration label i have already told you that there are three vibration level s1 s2 s3 so based on the vibration label as also we have to see that 5g whether it is 10g so these things you have to see and then you have to select that particular connector so for that particular vibration this particular connector can be distant suppose the particular connector uh, you have selected for the five and vibration level is uh, 5g for that particular connector but in real vehicle that particular vibration level is coming around 10g so this particular connector will not withstand at that particular location and after some times 
after six months or one year that particular connector will dislocate from that their original position and it will create the problem for that particular function so you have to see all these things when you are selecting that particular connector then serviceability so uh, of course you have to consider this particular thing that whether this particular connector is available for the serviceability or not then accessibility that where you are placing that particular connector suppose you have selected one particular connector where you have the primary lock and secondary lock but the accessibility of primary lock and secondary lock you are not able to access those particular uh, connectors in that particular location or you have not selected with that particular lock uh, but uh, those locks are required there so these things you have to see that whether the accessibility of that particular connector in that particular location is there then application constraint whether that particular ex application that uh, this particular connector can perform or not that you have to check then packaging and location as I told you that suppose some connectors where you have the location and you need that parking location of that particular connector then you have to check whether the uh, uh, to mount that particular connector you have the bracket or not so these cons consideration you have to do packaging and location that wherever you are selecting that particular connector so that parking of that particular uh, connector is there or not and how you are going to park that particular connector suppose some space is not there or some you know parking slot is all itself is not there then what type of bracket you are going to use in that location that those things you have to consider in this packaging and uh, location and finally second Second last is the cost and availability. So definitely you have to check the cost. Suppose the connector which you have selected, it is very costly. So you have to take care of this thing into the consideration uh, during the selection of connector, the costing. So uh, how much is the costing? You have the some costing for that particular harness and suppose it is exceeding that particular cost, uh, then it is no use of selecting that particular connector. Then availability of that particular connector to definitely uh, like availability or serviceability. So suppose you have selected that particular connector and availability of that particular connector is very rare. In aftermarket, you do not have those particular connectors. So it is also a very tricky situation. So you have to take care of that particular thing as well. So moving to the series, so you have the different different series, 250 series, 060 series or 0250 series. So that, that is based on the wire gauge and the particular location wherever you are using and different different companies has those particular series of uh, uh, connectors. So one particular example I have given, suppose this particular connector is having suppose 8 into 4, this is a 40 sorry a 32 pole connector so this 32 pole connector will be having this numbering from 1 to 6 7 8 then uh, you know 16 then 24 and then 32 so these things you have to consider that suppose this particular from here to here these these connections i can use the 250 series of terminal i can here use the 06 sorry 60 series of uh, terminal so these series are nothing but the wire csa range it defines so from that particular range uh, 0. Point, suppose 0. 0.5 to 0. 0.2.5 you can use that particular series that is the uh, series uh, based on that you can select your wire csa so moving to the uh, type of the connectors so as you already know that there are different different type of connector which are used for different applications so one is like low power connector as you know already that all the lv harness connectors we use then high power connector high power connector i just give you one example so this is one high power connector so it looks like this because it needs high protection from the so you can see the rated connectors like how much current it can hold what is the ceiling protection and you can see the secondary lock and other things also you can see this connector also this is for the high voltage so this is the uh, connector which can hold the 340 amps of current at 85 degrees centigrade and it is working voltage if you can see it is too much high like 1000 volt dc uh, voltage it can withstand then if i talk about the cross section area so it is 70 mm to 95 mm square of area it can take csa and what are the uh, you know vibration level you can see the lv similar to v1 according to es car so these are the things you have to take care during the you know selection of high power connectors then pcb mountable connectors you have then interconnect 
connection connector interconnection connector is nothing but the inline connectors then you have waterproof connectors non waterproof connectors connectors with primary lock connectors with primary and secondary locks then hybrid connectors hybrid connectors as you know the connectors with having different wire csa and terminal for low and high current rating are mixed with the single connectors so one particular connector will be having the uh, different different csa in that and it will be having the capacity of low and high current so suppose i i can use the 4 square mm of uh, wire csa here and uh, here i can use from 0.5 to 0.35 so these type of wire csa you can use so what does it mean the hybrid connectors so the suppose some connectors is normal connector and hybrid connectors so normal connectors are those connectors where in any of the cavity suppose my connector this connector is uh, having the uh, capacity to hold the wire gauge from 0.5 to 1 square mm and this is a normal connector so and at any cavity suppose it is a 10 pole connector in all the 10 poles i can hold 0.5 to 10 10 uh, you know 10 csa but when it comes to hybrid connector so in hybrid connector what happens as i told you the low and high current it can have, uh, hold so suppose this particular low and high current uh capacity of that particular terminal are divided so it divided like this suppose it has 10 pole so 1 uh, to 6 pole can hold 0.5 to 1 but 7 to 10 pole can hold only 4 square mm so like this it will be divided so it means so suppose seventh pole you can not use the 1 square mm because it is designed as in such a way that it can hold only 4 square mm so i hope you understand what does it mean the hybrid connectors so this is all about the selection of the connectors and this is just a, a recap of the uh, you know connector selection uh, which i have told you already i have made already three videos on that you can go through those videos and you can get benefited by this thank you very much thank you for your time